how to make a school management system in WordPress. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can make your very own school management system using WordPress. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to come over here onto your WordPress dashboard and you want to sign in into your WordPress account. And once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to install a plugin. Now, because of the sheer scale of all the systems, if we do them manually, I don't think it's even possible to do them manually. That's why we need to install a plugin. Now, the plugin that we're going to be installing is actually a pretty well-known plugin. We're going to click on plugins and then add new plugin. This will help us to install and, you know, set up our entire school system. So the plugin that we're going to be using is called WP School Press or WordPress School Press. I don't know, WP School. So this is the plugin right here and it is by WordPress team. So which I think is pretty self-explanatory. This means that is a pretty good function. So it gives us class management, timetable, exam, grades, teachers, and many, many more. If I open it up in another tab to see more of it, we can see some of the description right here. We can, of course, have student attendance management over here classroom and subjects, student grade management, school schedule management, transportation management, and constant feature updates. You know, it keeps getting updated. So currently this hasn't been, you know, tested with our current version of WordPress, but make sure you have the latest version of WordPress and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and install and activate this plugin. So once it's installed, just simply click on activate to activate it. And once it's activated, you should be good to go. Scroll down, you will find it right here. And you will also find it over here on the left hand side somewhere i believe here you go as you can see here if you hover your mouse over you can see we have so many options we've got students teachers parents classes attendance subjects marks events timetable import history uh, transportation teacher attendance and everything so if you have all of these information, you can go ahead and import them by just simply clicking on the import history and it will transfer everything from your previous system into this system. But if not, you have to enter in all these details manually. So all the students, you have to input them manually, all the teachers. I think there should be an easier way. Maybe we can import like a Google spreadsheet type of option. I believe there should be something like that over here. But if not, we can just simply go ahead and input them manually. So here we have the dashboard and here we have the students right here currently let's go ahead and take a look at the dashboard first and see how it looks like and then we'll move on to the other settings so this is the dashboard here you will see the number of students that you have here you will find the number of teachers that you have and here you will find the parents and classes here you have the active calendar and over here is going to be the exam center over here the exam section so it's a pretty simple dashboard nothing too crazy it just gives us the basic information of overall school system number of students teachers and parents let's go ahead and add some so over here we have teachers, right? If we want to add teachers, click on the teacher section and we'll add some teachers. So here we have the teacher section. Here we can add their employee code, their names, they're in charge of what class, their subject, phone and action, right? If you have a list, right, of all of them, you can import them. But for that, I believe you have to purchase this add-on. Currently, we don't have that function over here. But if you had that list, you wouldn't have to go ahead and enter it manually. So let me just go ahead and show you how we can, you know, create a new teacher. So we'll click on create new or add the teacher button. And here we go ahead and input all of the details. So their gender, their profile picture, their first name, middle name, last name, date of birth, blood group, phone number, qualification, street address, city, all the necessary school information. And then pretty much that's it. So make sure you fill it out and you should be good to go. Some of these details you would already know, like, you know, the employee code and their blood group and all of that so once that's done we should be good to go so something like this you know you can fill it out and once it's done just simply go ahead and click on the submit maybe i should add like a employee number code as well click on submit saving data oops something went wrong leave it at that how where does it exist and there we go so it's now saved data is now perfectly saved now we can go ahead and add students and that is how you can add teachers and now we can go ahead and add students and click on the student section over here and here the same process click on create new fill out the forms and that is how we can create students we're also creating the login forms over here as well so that way when they come over here into their you know into the our school system or our website they can go ahead and log in using their email address passwords and everything so keep that in mind and same thing we can do with the parent section over here so same thing with the parent section so of course you can go you already know what you need to do 
Then we have classes. In classes, you have classes, subjects, subject mark fields, marks, exams, and timetable. So you can set all of those out. Of course, it's not going to be time consuming. Of course, it's going to take a while, but you know, it is what it is. We have to do all of these things. So again, in classes, if we click on it. And in the classes section, of course, to create a class, we just simply click on create new. And in it, you just simply input your fields. So class name, class number, class capacity. You can select the teacher, class starting on, class ending on, class location, class fee type, you know, and then submit and that's it. Same thing with other fields as well. So you just simply got to go ahead and fill it out and you should be good to go. Same with attendance over here. You can see the student's attendance, teacher's attendance as well. Over here, you have events. Here, you can go ahead and add events over here. Let me just open it up in another tab. I'm going to open up all of these in another tab actually. And here is the event calendar here. You can go ahead and set different events for different times. So just select the date that you want. And over here, you can add the description, the start date, the end date of when you want that event to go. And then you have the timetable here. You can select a timetable and create a timetable over here for a specific class by clicking on the create new button. And over here, you can see you have the new option to create the timetable, select the class, choose the session and enter the number of session you want. Moving on, we have exams over here. Of course, you can create exams by clicking on the create button. It's actually very simple to do all of these things. So you don't need me to show you how you can create them. You already guessed it. Just simply go over there at one point and you can good to go. So to add the marks, you have to add classes before adding the marks. And then within classes, you have subjects and all of that. So keep that in mind. And over here is going to be your subject fields. You can create that over there. So now that you know how to do this, let's go back to our dashboard. And over here, you can see underneath the WordPress option, you have all these things. We already saw most of them. And then we have the transport and we have teachers and attendance we have working hours we can change the password we can leave the calendar update the profiles and add some more add-ons as well so if you wanted to add some add-ons you click on the add-on button over here but uh, currently i don't think it's supported by it because i have an older version of wordpress but if you have a newer version of wordpress you can go ahead and add that over there so pretty simple this is how you do it after that of course all that's left for you to do is just set up your school name and then you can do that by clicking on the general settings and you know making it go live so i've already opened it up over here here you can see we have the info the school logo the school name phone number all of the cool things and here you can add the website itself and then you have the sms option over here which you can purchase it with this add-on over here then you have the licensing and over here you can fill it out and once that's done you should be good to go you can even fill out a transport form over here as well so basically you get everything so that is how you do it if you're still confused a little bit over here in general settings Right, you click on the settings button to add it to your website or well to set up your website you have to first go ahead and create a website like on the wordpress and then over here add it over here within the info over here where we can see the website option right here and there you go it's that simple then people can come over here onto this website use the login forms that you have created within for teachers for students for parents and they can go ahead and attend classes view their marks view their subjects and view lectures as well so there you go this is how you do it this is how you create a school system using wordpress so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye